Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? This is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. I know I saw some of y'all earlier. They're like, what the hell are you doing up here talking about a Taurus quickie? Well, that's what it was, a Taurus quickie. At any rate, now we're getting ready to do Taurus monthly. I just decided to bypass the weekend since tomorrow's Halloween. And the very next day is the 1st of November. Yes, sir. October come and gone. Um... Some of y'all, I've already shuffled and cut the cards, let me say that. Uh, some of y'all are, how do I put this energy? Some of y'all are kind of coming out of whatever little sexual shell y'all were in. And I tell you, this Three of Wands and Ace of Swords has been popping up <laughs> all damn week. <sighs> okay. This is not a bad reading, so get past, get past that part. We're going to do front and back end of the overall. The front end has got the Three of Wands. The back end has got the Ace of Swords. Your challenge is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, the challenge is to get into some hard stuff and away from materialistic that's your challenge um away from the materialistic aspects <sighs> you must be trying to tell me something hmm it's not bad it's not bad it's a busy month let me put that out there first of all it is a busy month Ooh, nine of pentacles foresight and visionary see that that's what i'm talking about and the Three of Cups. Um, okay, I get it now. I get it. Emperor. Strength. Two of Swords. Knight of Cups. Judgment pulls the Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Okay. Okay. So I know y'all like, why are you mumbling? Hell, you never mumble. Yeah, I was blah, 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 blah. Well, okay. So, um, your object, your challenge, your little nugget for the next month and a day, we're going to include Halloween and that, is to shift your focus off of the material and get to the emo emotional now for some of you unlike me the Pisces moon sign are, are not you, you're not emotion showers for whatever that's worth um, but there's some energy here where you're going to need to show your vulnerable side um, particularly in a relatively newer relationship um, and newer, I'm going to let you put time on that. But I'm thinking within the last year, uh, if you've been kind of hitting it with somebody and you know it's it has the potential for good um, long-term success, then this is your reading. Um, shifting off of the materialistic and into the emotional. Um, and there's healing in that. In this deck, the vice versa deck talks about healing. There's healing in this when you when you let go. Um, as creatures of the earth, we very much like our luxuries, and sometimes it's hard for us to let things, material things, just go past. But that's exactly what the universe is asking you to do. With the three of wands and the nine of pentacles on your front end, this is you thinking long term so if you are not in this energy just yet you will be i noticed it at lunchtime today i'm like oh well i'm thinking long term and so for some of you you see how kind of romantic that looks it may be about a relationship again um for others of you look at the bottom card it may be about business or family stuff so just depending on where you are with all of that about looking forward 
on the back end of your overall energy with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. That's, that's two shotguns right there. Um, the message is really about understanding your own power without losing your balance and without becoming ungrounded, if that makes any sense. Coming into your own authority and your own power. So a lot of you may be feeling like this. Some of you may have stepped away from jobs that have been plaguing you. With much bullshit. Others of you may have completely severed ties with an old ex that maybe rolled around through work with retrograde. And you now maybe just decided it's not even worth your time to consider that person a friend because they are just full of it. However, that's resonating with you. But it's that kind of energy. And so with all those with all those endings or completions, the ace tells you right away, you're looking forward to the beginning by making important decisions about your future. Looking at the first week with the ass end of the emperor on top of the four of wands, um, some of you are going to be taking your relationship up to the next level, period. Now for some of you, a small, probably smaller than the first group, you may be getting a promotion. Um, but this is all about the fruits of your labor and celebrating what's good. So for those of you, once again, that are in newer relationships and you've been kind of just trying to focus on putting a good foundation down, here is where you begin to see the fruits of your labor. Um, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign for others, maybe an earth sign. doesn't. It could be any sign, but that's the energy that's coming back right now. Next to that, the Two of Pentacles and the Strength card, about having the courage um, to know when to do what. Balancing work and play. And so some of you may need to take a step back from work. Even if you're not physically going anywhere, maybe you need to scale the intensity down a notch. Some of you have been going hard at it. Got to go to work. Corona, no corona. Still grinding. So, about bringing balance back into your whole life. Your work life, your romantic life. If you haven't been going out and a lot of you have not because of the virus, it's time to get creative. If you can't get out where you are and come up with some kind of date night, um, just Again, even if you can't physically get away, mentally taking some steps back. Um, this is major energy, particularly the balance part. When you get in balance, things just kind of happen naturally. When you're out of balance, you feel like you're walking a steep hill up, trying to let some of the stress go and get back into balance. At the end of this first week, with the Knight of Cups sitting on top of the Queen of Swords. Um, any of you that have been having money issues or have just kind of been in the blahs, that is going to come to an end. It's the back. Um, yeah, you may hear something about your money. So you may have some money coming. Some of you may have, if you celebrate Christmas, some of you may have Christmas accounts, time for that kind of stuff. But there's money here. If any of you, again, have been having any kind of money issues, you are getting ready to turn your back to that bullshit. So, really, it feels like a damn opening, for lack of a, a better visual. Um, things have kind of been blocked up or backed up for a minute. Bye-bye. Second week, beginning... The Ten of Pentacles, sitting on top of the judgment. It's about um, knowing that you have what you need, material security. Um, but still transforming what's going on around you. And so for some of you, this may be about having the, the money or the wherewithal to stop doing one thing and start doing another. Leave your job, start a business. Many of you are in this energy. Autumn Pentacles, I'm counting them, I'm telling you. And this is a good omen. Good things are coming. Don't limit yourself. This part right here. Don't limit yourself to 
um, the regular. So we're talking about judgment, and in this day, um, it's about limitations. Do you, do you know what your limitations are? Don't limit yourself when it comes to something creative. Get with that. Get with it. And know that the material security is there. Again, some of you already have this security, and so this is going to allow you to do some other things. Once again, talking about transformation um, and making that decision, judgment, to do so. With the hermits on top of the two of swords, this is where energy gets a little strange. Um, some of you past Mercury retrograde may still be dealing with an ex and you may still be kind of with the horse blinders thing on. This is residual shit. Um, don't let it Hmm. Don't whatever. Don't let whatever this is <laughs> crowd you. So don't make a decision that's going to put you out. Don't make any kind of decision that's going to limit you. Once again, talking about limitations over here with the judgment card. That energy dragging right on through the week. Um, don't don't pretty much don't get with somebody that's going to have you sitting in a corner, even though that may be what you like to do. On occasion, you might want to get up and do something else. So uh, pay kind of close attention because this is it's tricky energy. Ultimately, there may be a decision that has to be made to cut this person out. I don't think I'm talking to a lot of people, but yeah, that part right there. Um, go slow, moving through that energy. Um, the hermit is never in a big hurry to get back because he's trying to seek enlightenment and what have you. But... Don't, don't don't go backwards. Don't go backwards. Uh, some of you may be thinking you got the rose-colored glasses on. Oh, it is. It's just, just going to be great the second time. Yeah, no, not so much. Not so much. Um, you'd a actually do better to, to go hide and be by yourself, that part, before you make any kind of decision to go back to someone who really is not going to allow you the freedom that you need. At the end of that week... The Eight of Swords sitting on top of the Six of Pentacles. Um, yeah. Self-imposed. But again, talking about the limitations, not settling for second best. And I don't know who I'm saying this to, but I guess I need to say it because it's Folks stomping around in my head telling me, say it, say it, say it. Something good for you is not always materialistic. This part right here. And so a lot of you may be thinking, oh, if I get with this person, and get this job, and get our money, everything will be great. No, money does not solve all problems. That part right there. So, before you make a decision not to get with somebody who really loves you or to take a job that really is going to allow you to grow even if they're not giving you the additional $10,000 you're looking for per year. Take a close look. Take the blinders off. Don't make any kind of decisions, once again, that's going to limit you. Don't settle for second best. Just because Joe Blow got the Cadillac or the Maserati or the Jaguar or whatever and lots of money in the bank it doesn't mean that's going to be the person that's going to be right for you to take care of you. You see them scales? Yeah, that part. Making decisions, judgment at the beginning of the week from the beginning to the end, making good decisions, taking the blinders off and not putting any kind of restrictions on yourself because you feel like one situation would be better than the other. That part. That's tricky energy. The second week, you're going to have to get kind of strategic in how you're dealing with people. Um, as far as romance is concerned, thus far, all systems go. That's what I hear. All systems go. So if you dilly-dallying around with somebody you really like, 
that you don't know. You, now's the time to let the rubber meet the road. Make a decision or not make a decision. However, that's working out for you. And the, the light, there's a lot of light in these cards. Make sure people see who you are, Taurus. Make sure they see who you are. Don't hide your little bushel under a bushel. Get that out there in the open. Let folks see what's going on with you. Yeah, there's a lot of major energy on the board. So the third week, King of Cups and the Page of Swords. Um, again, to watch, watch what you're saying and don't get caught up in any third party twistums. Um, there may be, and again, I'm coming back up here to that hermit. There, there's somebody, with some of you, there's somebody lurking around. And they are waiting on you to go, hey, come on over. Mm-mm. Nope, bad idea. <laughs> you see them fighting? <laughs> bad, bad idea. Yeah, that, that would be the position and the stance you would need to have if you're thinking about going backwards. Because you let them dogs turn around on you, it's going to be over. So, even for some of you, this might be job related. Oh, you're so wonderful. Yeah, no. No. No, I would not. There's, and I know it says for infidelity, and that in this deck, that's what the back of the Knight of Cups means, or the King of Cups, I'm sorry. But somebody trying to run on you run over you, dominion, conquest. That's what they're doing. Coming up like this. Just watch what you're saying. Don't over promise anything to whoever this is. Don't, don't do it. And just know it, this is riddled with all kind of bullshit. Because it feels like for some of you, this person is jealous of you or just hateful because they're not where you are around the board not just romantically they do they you are they are nowhere near you and they're angry about that and their anger really shouldn't whoever i'm talking to really shouldn't be directed at you but it is that's one of them things and coming out of mercury retrograde i'm not surprised all that emotional water down there so just watch what you're saying to people um going backwards on anything just be careful with that with the temperance sitting on top of the ten of pentacles and that's coming from the back once again talking about bringing back your balance some of you by the end of the month as you get closer to thanksgiving if you're in the united states maybe getting back to the point of where you're feeling like you're out of balance again slow down. Abundance is there. Some of you may just be trying to do stuff again. Talking about that materialistic point. You might be just grinding just for the sake of, yeah, I need extra, extra, extra. Get some balance back. Get some balance back. Um, and surely, looking at the butt end of the temperance car is telling me you're out of balance. So, get in balance. When you do that, all the rest of this will happen. And a lot of you are out of balance because you are grinding so hard and you're not taking a break and you're not doing this and you're not doing that. And ultimately, that could be causing some disruptions in your relationships. So again, um, that's major energy. Reminder to get back in balance. A lot of me time may be needed in November, Taurus. Just shut it down. You know, shut your phone off. Shut the news off. Watch something funny. Get a glass of wine and go sit down and chill. If that's what works for you. However it is, take a hike, bike ride, whatever. But carve out time to do say it because if you don't, the energy that we're in, it's real easy to get out of balance, regardless of how resilient you may be. So do your best. Stay in balance. If you're in balance, the things that you need will come much easier. The Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, um, Again, talking about your light, standing in your light, speaking your truth. We're at the beginning of something. Might be work. 
but there's abundance here um and maybe that's what i should say the abundance is there you do not have you don't have to bust that near another bubble of sweat trying to get to it it's already there i don't know how to say that as long as you are being true to yourself and true to what you're doing it's it's going to come i think for a lot of you you feel blocked because you're fighting against it you're looking you're looking for answers and you've already asked for the, whatever it is to be answered slow down just slow down it, just slow down if you slow down do some self-care it will come to you much easier at the end of the month ha 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 Well, there it is. There it is. Dealing with all that inside shit is going to lead you here. And it's going to be about making the choice to be in love with whomever or whatever. It could be a what to. But for most of you, this is bells and shit, people. Um, trying to get this yeah trying to get here stepping it up so whatever good things that start at the beginning of the month with relationship stuff it's right there and you may I don't think this is not resonating for you directly towards you may have to help new person newer relationship person clear some things out of their past there may be some traumatic things going on or maybe something that happened with an ex and they're just kind of trigger happy and still don't know how to respond to certain situations. You may have to help them work through that part. No bad energy there. None. Because you, if you are able to do so, you'll get be the one to get to see and reap the rewards of it. Major energy, once again, go slow with love relationships. Um... For no other reason, there's no reason to go fast. Just go slow. Enjoy enjoy things as they come. With the sun and the nine of swords, just what I'm saying, success is coming, but you got to go with the flow. You're going to have to go with the flow. and quit. Just just what I've just been saying, self-punishment. Being overly critical, over over-analyzing everything. Stop. Stop. Success is already there. You can see I even wrote it up there. It's already there. So I, and I think that was what this afternoon's reading was really about. The quickie, the tour is quickie. You, it's already, you got it. You got this. Why are you tripping? That part. At the end of the month, the Queen of Cups, the Five of Swords, um, you may be seeking the support. Some of you may be making um, that stuff up in a relationship or a job. And as you're doing so, know that you've got support, but you'll also get a different point of view. Because it may be something you're looking at as far as your relationship, um, that you're not seeing another side. This is, there's no negative energy here. It's just you're looking at it from one way, and it looks perfectly fine, but somebody may give you some insight and broaden the picture for you a bit. Um, at the end of all of that, You've got the support. You've got the cooperation from the people you need. For some of you, just like that, look at these split. You may be getting ready to plan some type of marriage. Moving in together. <laughs> Whatever. That's what the energy is. Um, just be open to everything that's going on and you should be fine you go with the flow loosen up a bit maybe one more chance think about it first don't go overboard maybe one more chance talking about that x for some of you maybe you need to consider maybe one more chance the energy for that particular thing doesn't feel like that, but for some of you, maybe you need to consider one more chance. Um, and maybe it's not, maybe this is more in the instance of where you have more to do with things breaking up than the other person. Maybe it wasn't them that cheated, 
or did something wrong, you just ended it for whatever reason. So maybe you might want to give it one more look-see. And then we go right to the same damn thing. Think about it first. Think about it first. Whatever you're doing with your relationships or with your jobs and money, I hear money. Think about what you're doing first, especially in this real emotional kind of scorpion energy. Um, follow your intuition as best you can, but think about whatever it is you're going to do first. Don't go overboard. Get in touch with your emotions. That part right there, but don't go overboard. And for some of you, you may not know what overboard is because you're not an emotional book. So just kind of be mindful of how you're processing your feels. And you should be good. Where's... Yeah, we'll do this. Might as well. What the hell? It's Halloween shit. Eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit Mother Nature made. Again, I hear y'all grinding. I see cars <laughs> headed towards the office. Engines starting up. Doors slamming. People putting on coats and sweaters and shit. Slow down. Get a home-cooked meal. If it's all that, get a home-cooked meal. Just grind it. Just in the street. I go to my other job. Yeah, hello, hello. Go home and get a meal. That part. <laughs> Some vegetables. And get away from the fast food. And Uber delivers, you know. Fuck. Shit is about to get real. Fuck. You need your people around you. And I say that. So there's support. There's support here for you. I hear wedding bells. That's what I'm going to say. So it's a good possibility some of y'all are going to get engaged around Thanksgiving time over the turkey and hamish type stuff. Um, that's exactly what the fuck it is. Shit's about to get real. Just that. Get your support team. Find them. They're rooting for you. They're cheering for you. Find out where the hell they are so you can celebrate together. Um, for some of you getting married is going to be stressful for those of you that this is resonating with those of you that may be just in a pattern of um, a holding pattern and you're not doing anything yet not married not moving in it's coming that part right there so you just okay <laughs> You need some fucking yoga in life. Ancient shit is cool. You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. Once again, talking about taking the time out. Yoga is a good... I can't do it. My fat ass be on the floor. I'm trying to Tai Chi and dance around the floor. I, I can't, yeah. But anyway, do something, Taurus. Intense energy it has. It's been a ton of it. People on edge, angry, and some more shit. Find something that's going to cool you out. Take the intensity down a notch or two. And try and lighten up and have some fun this month, Taurus. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good Halloween. Woo! -hoo -hoo. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.